My name is Tukden Sering. I was born in 1939. Well, the communists were, my impression was very fearful, you know. They are killing people and uh, they, they don't like religion and they don't like, uh, you know, any, any sort of religion, either Buddhism or Christianity. And they were kind of an enemy of religion. And there was a big meeting in Beijing. I was a small fry, but um, I had to be with the party, you know, the Ling Rinpoche and his own uh, uh, group. And uh, then, uh, of course, I even saw Mao Zedong four, three, four times when he came to see His Holiness. We were not, not to be there present, you know. His Holiness is uh, there and the, um, his two tutors and then the high officials. We were from distance, you know, peeping. And um, he was a pretty uh, genuine person, Mao Zedong. He even told Ling Rinpoche. Ling Rinpoche was baldy. He didn't have much hair here. Mm -hmm. So he used to tell Ling Rinpoche, he told Ling Rinpoche, you should wear a hat because you might catch cold. When they take us to an evening party, uh, you know, the monks were not allowed to enjoy it with dancing with the ladies and so the, they, they separate the monks, monk officials. <clears throat> they take us to a place where we can see movie and the, the lay people, they can have a different lifestyle. There were a lot of, uh, they made a lot of arrangements. There were many ladies sitting here, there, so that the Tibetan officials can dance with them. They were all hired, you know, just artificially, you know, just temporarily, just a few hours. Monks to dance with beautiful women, so they always have that Oh, I, I, I heard he was such a womanizer, you know, he heavy smoker. He, he really enjoyed his life, you know. We went to a lot of places, Shanghai, Dongbei, you know, Wuhan, Hangzhou, you know, everywhere. Quite a lot. We spent one whole year. We learned a couple of Chinese songs mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, those days, they often played that, you know, in the loudspeaker every day and night. So I used to sing Wuxing Hongji, you know. They made arrangements, you know, for the group to visit the public park, huge park, beautiful, you know, trees and flowers. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were a lot of people sitting here, they're playing cards, enjoying some the food stuff they brought and, you know, eating and talking and laughing, you know. Those are all fake, made. Soon after we left, you know, they were backing off, <laughs> running. Those are very, I mean, they're cheating us as if they are very free, you know, society. You know, they, they took us to see the, the, you know, the emperor's palaces. His uh, palaces, his bedroom, his uh, teacher's bedroom, his mother's room. We were all lined up and, you know, we were touring. Then I was thinking, you know, one day this will happen in Lhasa. You know, the Dalai Lama's palace. They will show this to, you know, this, this is the, Exactly, that was almost, uh, you know, it's a potala now. Maybe there are a lot of visitors. They are showing this is Dalai Lama's bedroom, this is Dalai Lama's blah, blah, blah. So that I knew, but then we can't do anything. Once you, the big, big, powerful nations, they take away the smaller ones. It'll take centuries to, you know, get it back, independence or whatever. So I gave up.